everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sharon Cullen Art. Today is a chat day, and this little guy has been chattering, so I have to hold him to keep him from chattering. Otherwise, he whines when he hears me talk. So you're going to have to sit with me here. Yes, you are. But anyway, today is a chat day, so if you're not interested in the vlogs or chats, which may or may not be art related or both, then you're welcome to go watch another one of my videos. So today, I was going to tell you a little bit about what happened over the last week. I um, ended up going furniture shopping with Pat finally. I've been telling him we've needed to do this for months. I mean months. And because I was concerned with COVID. And so he finally gave in, finally, and said, okay, we're ready, we're almost ready for furniture. We're going to go ahead and look. So we go and look, and we needed to order two recliners, a couch for our basement, regulation couch, and then for my living room on the main floor, I wanted a sectional and a couple of tables. So we go to the store, and luckily the two recliners that we wanted just happened to be in stock, so we were able to get them within four days. We had to go pick them up and bring them home ourselves, or we'd be waiting forever for delivery, but the next thing was the couches. Well, with Lazy Boys, which is what I wanted because they're quality made furniture, I can pick my fabric and my pillow covers and all of that. So I was able to do that myself and it was really nice. So, um, problem is they won't be in until August, August, August. I told Pat, but no, sorry men, but my husband, Husbands do not listen. They do not listen. So I said to him, I've been waiting now a year and a half for my hot tub. You guys know how much I love my hot tub for my chronic pain. And when I lived in Shelby, I used to post a lot of photos and videos from the hot tub while I was having my morning coffee. Like the flying squirrel thing that was taking his leap from the tree over to my feeder in slow motion. And you hear chariots of fire da, da, na, 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 as he goes to hit the feeder. But anyway, um, yeah, so I said, well, I'm calling the hot tub place, which is about almost a two hour drive from us. Not quite, hour and a half. So uh, I called them up and I said, okay, we want a higher end hot tub. We're willing to spend the money on a higher-end hot tub. We're wondering if you have any in stock or if we're talking a month or two or a year for delivery. And she said, right now we're looking at between May and August. Again. But no, my husband wouldn't listen to me. He said, we got to get that landscaping done. And I said, the landscaper said they would come if there was this white stuff on the ground. But... We have white stuff on the ground, and we're going to until spring now. January is when our snow really starts kicking in here. We have cold temperatures and ugliness for about two months, and then we get four months of freaking snow when everybody's flowers are blooming. So we were supposed to go to the hot tub place today, but instead the guy who's working on my ladder came back to finish. And the wheels were coming off the track at the top. And uh, the bottom at the wheels, these crappy cheap wheels that he had on there that I thought were crap, I couldn't understand. But at the top, he's got these little bitty wheels holding that ladder on. Let me show you guys. This, this thing is super, super heavy. It's steel. And he's got these little bitty wheels. And he gouged my wall up. See all the blackness and everything? Ugh. But I thought, why aren't you putting on, like, the big barn door wheels? Those things are huge to hold a door on. The door is a fraction of the weight of this ladder. But no. And so last week, we told him, you need to bring this thing away from the wall more because it keeps dragging on the wall and it's gouging the heck out of our drywall, right? So what does he do? He comes this morning without letting us know when we were going to go to the hot tub store and forgets the bolts. So now he's got to go drive back to the hardware store to go buy bolts. And then he comes back, puts the bolts on, they get all done, they go to wheel the thing across. It's not wheeling right. Oh, that's because it's of your rug. 
And I'm like, no, it's not the rug. I'm sure it's not the rug. So I said, let's pull the rug back. We pull the rug back, and then they go to roll it across the floor, and bam, it comes right off the off the track at the top. So hang on a second. You want to go on? So that's where I'm at right now with all of this, and my ladder still isn't done. So they're going to have to get new wheels, and they're going to have to... Um, I think we need larger tracks wheels at the top too. I told Pat they could have gone to freaking Menards and bought a door set and it would have been better than what we're dealing with right now. But no, don't listen to a woman. Don't listen to a woman. Okay, so I'm done with that. Stress level down. Okay, next thing. I got a few things in the mail. Uh, one of the things was, in, you guys saw my stickers that I had made for for my um, logo, which I've re been really happy with. I like this logo because of the trees and um, being in the woods, and I like the colorfulness of the whole thing, colorfulness. So, But I wanted a different size sticker to deal with, too. So I got some smaller ones, square, and they look like this. So we've got two different sizes now, which is nice. And a few of you have been asking about my paintings. I, I'm sorry, I still don't have my website done. Uh, it's going to take a while because I was sick and then I needed to get videos up and all of that. So hopefully we will be getting this done very soon and then I will be able to sell my paintings online. It'll be a PayPal account. I'm not going to deal with credit cards and all of that because of the percentage and the fees that I have to pay. It's not worth it for me because I'm not working full time. I'm really retired and I'm just selling some paintings here and there. So um, that is going to be a PayPal thing. So if you want to purchase something from me, um, you'll have to open a PayPal account, which is free to do. So no big deal. The next thing was I was online trying to find my my 12 packs of my uni pins that I like to have and they couldn't find them anywhere. All I could get was the full set, the one, two, three, five, eight, whatever, um, this set. So I, I was kind of bummed that this was all I could get when I really didn't want that kind of a set. But I thought, you know, it'll be nice to have a few other size choices to get. But what I normally buy are boxes of 12 uni pins and I like the point four. But you can't find the point four anywhere. Um, and I had a, point, a box of point ones, and um, I only have a few left here. Oh, I have five left, so that's good. But um, yeah, I was looking for a box of those, and I could not find them anywhere on Amazon, which really bummed me out. The next thing is that um, I had been wanting to tilt my table, my, my work table. Let me turn the camera around again. And it helps because this table can sit really high and it makes it difficult for me to see my work. So I have to keep um, like lifting my work up to look at it. So I finally put it on an angle, but then of course everything would slide down. So I bought myself a silicone mat, a clear sil silicone mat, which is very rubbery. Um, you can't hear this. skidding on my hands but anyway nothing moves my water doesn't move my pellets don't move uh, my iPad stand doesn't move so it's really nice to have that and it's clear so I can still see through it and that's kind of nice too I like that uh, so I got that and I'm happy with it so now I've been able to work on an angle because now it's lowering my work a little bit in front and bringing it up on a slight angle. I can work at a higher angle if I want or at the angle that I have it now, which is probably about, oh, between 15, 25 degrees, so not a big thing. Now, the next thing that I bought were, I, I wanted to get a new Posca pen in white, but Posca pens, I think, are kind of overrated. So I found this box of no-brand white paint pens, acrylic paint pens, and you can see I painted on the box with them. They paint very well. Um, I got these in the fine, extra fine tip, which isn't extra fine. It's really a, still a 0.7 millimeter tip, but uh, this came in a box of six, and they are very nice pens. Let me find the one that I opened here. Um, so I'm happy with them. You know, they got the little shaker ball inside, 
to help shake up your thing. And then this is the size of the nib on the pen. So um, they're nice to have. Although I still like to use my Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink, which I will show you because I know somebody inevitably would ask, what is that? Bleed Proof White Ink by Dr. P.H. Martin's is more opaque than the lightest gouache that you can get, the most opaque gouache you can get. And the one that I love is M. Graham gouache. I think it's better than Winsor & Newton gouache. It is great, and I buy it in big 37 ml tubes. But this Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink is also excellent. Like if you want to put snow down and you're sprinkling, you're not going to have to worry about the fade of the white when you're putting it down. Like you know how you have to kind of have your brush wet just slightly so that when you're flicking, the paint won't stay stuck to the brush. Well, then it ends up watering down your gouache and you got to go over it three or four times. With this, you don't have to do it. I love Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And even though it's called an ink, it is water soluble. So you're not going to have to worry about um, it being permanent when you put it down. Unlike an acrylic paint pen, which would be permanent once you put it down, there's no going back. You'd have to paint over it again if you needed to do that. Now, the next thing I wanted to show you was something I got from Jane Davenport's collection. I don't care for her crafty kind of paints and that kind of thing, but she had something interesting on her website. I saw her using it, and I thought, oh, I should check this out. Actually, I saw a commercial on YouTube or something. So I went to her website to check it out, and it was so inexpensive, even coming from Australia. I didn't have to pay that much for it. Um, $14.95. Oh, plus $9.95. So it was $24, $25. But, um, oh no, and it's filled with peanuts. Just a minute, I gotta let the dog back in. I got some peanuts. Yo-ho. Hate these things. Unless they're biodegradable ones. Okay. Came with the card, and I got some, I got an extra gift. Hi, Sharon. Have fun. And it's got my shipping label. And then she gave me this little mermaid pen. She's really into mermaids. So I got this little ballpoint pen from her, which was a cute gift. Thank you, Jane. And then I bought this thing. Now, I don't know how well it's going to work. We'll have to see. It's kind of gimmicky, but I thought if this thing works... It could be something that I would use, like if I'm sitting on the beach painting or whatever. So it's a cute little package here. She's got her mermaid sticker on the front, of course. And, well, it's, it's like, um, actually, it's duct tape. Crazy. Okay. And this is what I bought. It's the smaller of the two. It's a strap that goes around your wrist with a little mini palette. And you can buy them with their paints in it or you can buy them without the paints in it. It's just plastic and it opens up like this. This has six kind of standard pans, I would say. They're not half pans, but they're not quite a full pan. Oh, no, it's got 12 and then a little palette and then little sponges in between. So what you do is you take the wrist strap and put it on and you wear it on your wrist. So it's like a wristwatch, a palette wristwatch. So I'm gonna have to try this thing and see exactly how well it works. It could be great if you're, um, you've got a lot of supplies and things are feeling a little cumbersome. 12, I think it also came in 24. Um, you would have to put the watch on kind of sideways just gonna try to push my watch up. I got a tight watch band on right now. And then this would kind of go, oh, I put it on upside down. Darn it, okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. But anyway, let me try to put this on upside down and see if I can do this. I'm just gonna kind of stick it in there, put the strap in, I'll fix it later. So you put it on like this and then you just open this up with your stuff, right now I've got it on too loose, I would probably want it sideways on my wrist so that I could be holding things or whatever. I'd wear it like this, and then you just paint from it. Isn't that cool? It's kind of cool. It's very lightweight. Um, it's pl all plastic, 
but it's not um, too chintzy of plastic. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm, I was really interested in it. So I just got to turn this around and I hope I can now that I've put it on there. Oh yeah, it comes off real easy. I just don't want to break those plastic hinges because if you break the little plastic hinges, then you're kind of screwed. There's no going back. And um, it says Jane B Davenport Art Time Watercolor on the front. And the larger palette, which is 24 colors, is like this wide. This is, let me measure it, and I'll tell you exactly how wide we are here. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It, I think it's only like two by three inches, but let's see. It's uh, two and three quarter by two. So it's two and three quarter wide by two high, uh, which is nice and small, and you get 12 colors out of it. When you're plein air painting or uh, urban sketching or whatever, you really don't need a lot of colors. I used to think I did, and then I'd get out there and I'd only use the same ones over and over, like the Hematite Genuine, my Ultramarine Blue, a um, lighter yellow, my Earth Tones, and a red, and that's about all I'd need. So that's what I'm gonna do with this, is, um, you know, put that on. But then when I put this watch band on, I will put it on so that it's sitting sideways, like that on my wrist, and that way I can use my hand and still have this laying flat, which is really kind of cool. Now that I got the watch band on, I'm gonna go ahead and see exactly how well this thing works. I might have to practice in here in the studio and see, there. I tightened it up a little bit tighter. I could probably go another one though. And it's got little holes all the way around, so it doesn't matter how big or small your wrist is, uh, you'll still have the space. But if I keep it like this, I think it'll lay flat. Yeah. So that's really kind of cool. So if I'm holding a book, let's say I'm out in the field holding a book. I wouldn't be holding a big book like this, but let's say I'm out there painting and I'm holding my book. Now see, I, I need to turn it a little bit more. I probably would have to turn it so it's like upside down on my wrist, like this. And then that way I can work and still have this being upright like this. See what I mean? So that's probably what how I would do it if I was painting and, and needed to hold my my palette. So uh, yeah, we'll give it a shot, see how it works. I'll keep you guys posted on that. And then there was something else that I got. Um, the painting that I did for this review, I did a, um, I, I bought a plein air frame for it. And I like plein air frames because they're nice and easy to deal with. Right now, I just have it taped in the back instead of using the, the proper closure for the back of the frame. But um, this is part of the video I'm doing for painting with gouache on canvas. And then I went over it with a wax medium. So um, that is how that turned out. And I really like the dark frame with it. I think this will look really good with this dark frame. So anyway, I did that. And then I also got... A new book from Etcher, um, Essie Tangle, or Love for Art, over on Instagram, was using one. And I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and use one. And I thought that I bought the watercolor one. But I ended up buying uh, the mixed media one, which is a lower GSM. I think it's 230 GSM. How do I get this off? I don't know how I put this on. So it comes in this little nifty pouch. With the elastic closure because it has a white canvas um, white canvas cover on it which could be painted over you could gesso on it and then paint over your cover and then wax it so that it's nice and it won't get all dirty and ugly it also has a little etcher emblem right there but this is their mixed media book which I would find would be very good for very light watercolor washes um, it would be great for pen sketches, 
with a simple wash over it and um, you might get some warping of the pages. The tooth is very fine, like your regular mixed media book, but gouache would go very well in this. And this is a lay flat book. You can lay it flat to open. So um, that's nice. Now it comes with a ribbon and you also have the pouch in the back if you're one that likes to save little mementos and stuff of your travels and everything. It's nice to have one of these in the back so you can have an entire vacation or trip all in one journal, which is really nice. So I'm going to give this a shot and I will keep you posted on it. I, I've told you about other books that I've bought that I still have not gotten to or used because I'm trying to use up my two pentelic books that I have going right now. I've got a little square one over there that's not finished from a couple of years ago. I have this one, uh, which is my study book for things that are not normally plein air, although that one was from a photo. This should be in my other book. Um, these were all just practice things. Uh, my water, that was another fall one, but I didn't want it to get on here, so I put paper toweling over it. A couple watercolors that I did, or that's a watercolor. This is, I think that's gouache. Yeah, that's gouache. These are gouache. Um, these are gouache. So anyway, I got to use that book up and I'm only about barely halfway through. And then I have this one, which is my watercolor journal or gouache journal. It's my journal basically. And I have things in it from my journaling, the things that I've been sketching from life. So um, that plant died and I got a new one and it died again. I'm done with Fatsia spider webs because I can't keep them alive, at least not in the winter. Then a couple fall sketches, that kind of thing. Now when I get closer to done or finished with the book, I will go through and I will show you everything that I have painted. Now that's from a boat launch where I broke my ankle doing a plein air painting a couple of years ago with a friend. Then uh, a view off the bridge recently, although I wanted to go today and go take photos. I should do it because there's snow on the trees and I need to go take some photos. I'm waiting for a new musical instrument to come though, you guys. I cannot wait to get it. You guys know I'm a musician and I do have my uh, gold flute, but with my lung problems, I need to start exercising because my lungs are weak and I feel like my flute playing has kind of declined a bit. It takes a lot of lung power to play a flute. Um, I started playing the tank drum, uh, and I started playing kalimba also about a year, year and a half ago. So I've got a couple tank drums, and I've got like three or four kalimbas, uh, five maybe. <laughs> but now I have a lyre coming today. It's a 16-string lyre, and I want to start learning to play the lyre, and I may eventually advance to harp, but I'm not sure. I really love the sound of a lyre. A uh, lyre has more of a piano kind of a sound because it has metal strings and harps are mostly, except for the low notes, they have those big vibrating strings. Um, they're nylon or gut and I wouldn't want to use gut on a mandolin because I'd be changing strings all the time because they they're they break very easily. So anyway, I'm learning to play the lyre. Oh, I also got an extra sticker for my palette. Shall my palette look like crap from Jane Davenport? She gave me an extra sticker. But that was nice of her to give me the pen too, which is very cute. I should write and see what it what it's like if I write on it. Get a piece of paper here little pad of paper. Let's see if it writes it all. Oh, it writes nicely. It must be a gel pen. So I'm assuming that it is not waterproof. Let me check it out. It'd be nice if it was though, being an artist. She should know better. Actually, it is waterproof. It, it smeared a little bit because I didn't wait very long, but look, slightly gray. Maybe my brush was dirty. But um, yeah, it's not coming off on there, so that's pretty good. Maybe my brush was dirty, let's see. Try over here and see. 
no it was the ink but even still that's not too bad so I'm happy with that I can use that uh, so let me see is that it my nose is itching here uh, what else was I gonna tell you couple updates um, Besides working on my website, you guys all know I do have an Amazon affiliate link now. People are asking, where do you get that? Where do you get that? You got to go to my description, go to my affiliate link, and make sure that I have it there. I put my favorite things on my affiliate link, not every single thing that I purchase. Um, the things that I think are worthwhile to share with you. Um, will be on there. Now some things do not come from Amazon, they come from other places, so uh, just keep that in mind. Um, I've got a review coming up for the canvases that I am reviewing. I told you all about the 28 canvases that I received, and uh, so I did the review. I just have to get it up for you, and I'll probably get it up later this week for this painting here which is a painting it's not a tutorial it's more of a review on these canvases and how to paint with wash on canvas so that you can do that a lot of you keep asking about this palette you need to go over to instagram now i've waxed this palette so it's nice and shiny it does not come like that i sanded it a little bit with um, not with sandpaper i just used a like a brillo pad not the soapy kind, but steel wool. I just used steel wool to soften the edges of this wood, whatever it was they used, because it's got a very, um, it's got a lifted grain kind of on it. And they stained it, but then I added the wax to it. And you can see right here where I got water and it kind of wore back a little bit, and I got to re redo that. So this is just where the wax wore off. So I got to keep up with it. But um, this palette, it's probably dirty. This one, you can get it on hinges or you can get it magnetic where it comes apart, which I kind of like because when you do that, then um, you don't have to have the entire palette out on a table. You can just put one half out on the table. So what I do is have one side, which is watercolor, and my other side is gouache. And that way, like if I'm traveling, I can just take this and I have both with me, uh, which would be kind of nice. And I don't need to have 80 colors with me. So, um, is that everything now? I think so. I'm hoping that my liar comes quick because I can't wait to start playing it. I'm a music fanatic, you guys, so... Um, yeah, I'll be playing that a lot. Once I get good at it, maybe I'll do a quick video demonstration and show you uh, my playing. I could do my flute too, but you guys don't want to hear me play my flute, I don't think. So uh, anyway, I believe that's it, you guys. So remember, be courageous, paint with wild abandon, and most of all, be kind to each other. Take care. God bless you. Stay safe and um, pray for our country. Our country's going to need a lot of help, a lot, a lot of help. And I know we have a lot of disagreeing on sides. We need to pray that we keep our freedoms, our liberties intact, that there is no censorship, whether you're Democrat or Republican, that you should have the right to say whatever you want to say, regardless of its truth or validity. I think we're all grown-ups here and we can decide whether or not something is true. There's a lot of fake crap on the internet. There's a saying that's been going around forever. You can't believe everything you read on the internet and that kind of thing. So keep that in mind. I don't think we need big tech censoring one side because they want to push their agenda on the entire country. And today you may agree with them. But tomorrow, you could be on the other side. So it is a dangerous game. And we need to watch it. Even if you agree with big tech right now, don't you think that every human in the United States should have a right to free speech? We need to remember, as citizens of the United States of America, that we do have certain unalienable rights to the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. And when you silence somebody 
because of their truth or lack of truth. That's very scary. And Mark Zuckerberg and what's his name, John Davies or whatever his name is from Twitter that own those companies, they should not be our leaders. That is dangerous. It is so dangerous. Got to watch them, guys. Just because some of you may agree with what they are cutting off, that you want to see something gone, you got to remember, it, isn't it that other human's right to say something, whether you believe it or not? We all have those rights. We need to have peace. We need to have that pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness. Whether we agree with them or not, there's a lot of things that I don't agree with on the internet. But I believe in a citizen's right to free speech and to say those things. And it has to work on both sides. It can't just work on one side or then it becomes a dictatorship and we are in a communist country. <sighs> so scary. As Christians, I know that this is coming because it has been stated and everything has come true so far. So yeah, it's scary. So let's pray. Pray, pray, pray. If you're a person who prays, pray. Pray to God that we don't lose our freedoms and our unalienable rights in this country. We need them. And be nice to each other. Be nice to each other. I'm sure I'm going to get thumbs down for this because some people are going to think that I've chosen a side that's against theirs. I don't care. Your thumbs down actually pushes me higher up in the ratings, so go for it. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, have a great day. I love you all. God bless you.